What's up you guys, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome to another video if you're new here. My name is Molly and I'm a current freshman at the University of Alabama. And in light of everything that is going on, I can speak for a lot of people that I have seen things about and heard about and just have read on the news and everything like that. A lot of schools have been pushed to online, both college, high school, middle school, everything's online because of the coronavirus and in light of everything that is going on i just encourage all of you guys to take care of yourselves but because online school has started and a lot of kids are in a position that they've never been in before um i decided to make a video on my tips for online learning and ways that you guys can succeed despite everything that is going on i have taken a lot of online classes in my time so far at ua just based on my scheduling and things that worked and didn't work so i do have experience with online and i'm also a very productive person i feel like i'm the type of person that gets stuff done way in advance and a lot of these things that I feel like I've taught myself and I do on a daily basis not just with my online classes but with everything else can be easily translated to have you guys have a successful online school time so that's what we're gonna do today I'm super excited about this video and I hope it helps you guys in any way shape or form I really hope it teaches you something and makes online school as successful for you as possible so that's what we're gonna do today I'm super excited about this video so without further ado let's jump right into it I have all my tips typed out on my phone my first one is a big one and is have a morning routine similar to when you would go to class, go to school, whatever it may be. Anything really works, I feel like, for this. Set a certain time to get up every day that you have online school. During the week, take a shower, put makeup on. For me, I know even when I was in high school, and I still do this, and now when I was at UA on campus going to classes, to this day, I still stand by this. Putting a little bit of makeup on, even if it's just a touch of mascara or a little bit of concealer, whatever makes you feel more awake, more comfortable, more happy, that is what I do every day to start my day just because I feel like it really wakes you up and it kind of gets your body and your mind in the mindset that you have to get working and get stuff done and I know for me especially being stuck at home for as long as I have I have not been wearing makeup and it has made me feel very lazy and very just like sluggish and I don't want to do anything um so I definitely recommend at least putting a little bit of makeup on like making yourself look a little more presentable it'll just make your day feel a lot more productive and it'll help you get into that productive mindset so let's get into the makeup change out of your pajamas, put on a good outfit. For me, I know sitting in my PJs all day can make me feel really sluggish and really slow. And even just changing into a different outfit, even if it is still comfortable, can really change your whole outlook on your day and make you feel super productive. This is what I'm wearing today for my day of online school. It is this talentless shirt. It looks like this. It's gray, cropped, super comfortable, and my super comfy tie-dye Urban Outfitters joggers. Like I said, it's still super comfy. I could wear this to bed, but the change of outfit and the change of kind of my mindset really helped me get ready for my day you know just make yourself feel productive and get yourself really started make your bed do all of those things that you need to do or that you would do on a normal day if you were going to physical school um it just makes your mind and your body feel so much more awake and so much more ready to do work and it kind of gets you in that mindset i feel like if you kind of just wake up whenever you feel like it and you sit in your pajamas and try to do schoolwork, your brain is just sluggish and slow and you don't get as much done so that is definitely a really important thing that you guys should consider and implement into your everyday routine during online school my second tip is also really, really, really important. I feel like a lot of kids, especially when you go to traditional school, I know a lot of people don't use a planner and they rely on their minds and that doesn't work especially for online school when now everything physically is online and you don't have a teacher looking over you reminding you of things you don't have a reminders board in your classroom every day you really do have to take it upon yourself to keep track of all of your deadlines and due dates and things and this is my planner i've shown this in another video before but it is my erin condren planner it looks like this and i definitely think it is just super super important for you guys not only to put due dates in these planners but also to put when you should do things so you're not doing everything in the last minute because i know a lot of people that don't don't use a planner are such procrastinators and do things at the last possible second because they either forget about it or they just assume that you have all the time in the world and if you see it laid out on a week by week planner I feel like you get so much more of a perspective on what needs to be done when and how you can get it done in a timely fashion my next big tip for you guys I know some people are using zoom I personally don't have any classes on zoom or any like virtual classes type of thing everything is strictly online just on my computer at my own time and my own pace basically um but have a 
set schedule that is definitely so so important especially right now especially if you're using zoom because you obviously have certain class times you have to be awake for um but i also would really encourage you guys to just block out certain times in your day if you don't want to be doing schoolwork sitting down for four hours maybe block out an hour to an hour and a half at a time during the day and just get certain things done and write that all in a planner like make that all noted and everything it'll keep you on track and it'll keep you on pace for what you want to achieve during the week and during that specific day so that is definitely really important as well this next tip i am so guilty of especially at college because as you guys know if you have seen my dorm tour video any of my vlogs really i do my homework a lot in my bed and it's not good and i really don't like that i did it it just became a habit for me because if i wasn't at my sorority house or i wasn't at starbucks i really didn't like sitting in the kitchen table in our dorm it just wasn't very comfortable and i didn't really feel like i was getting much done because it was always really dark in that area of the room um so i would do my work in my bed by my bedside light and it really wasn't very productive of me because i was constantly going on my phone i was constantly checking social media and other things um so do not do your work in your bed i don't care how tired you are like just do not do it you get so much more out of learning when you are not in your bed like i swear by that 100 percent it's definitely something i'm trying to teach myself again now that i'm back at home doing online school whether it is just a simple desk whether you're literally sitting in a random chair whether you're in your kitchen or your living room just do not do it in your bed it just makes you so much more productive you literally probably don't even notice until you don't do work in your bed and then you're like wow i actually got a lot done today just do not do work in your bed it is not good the next tip is definitely really important i feel like especially for a lot of people that maybe aren't as passionate about school i've always liked school weirdly enough but if you especially if you aren't passionate about it and this also is good honestly for anybody even if you love school you're crazy about it you're really jazzed about it this is definitely a really good tip give yourself breaks after certain amounts of school work i definitely notice myself getting less engaged with the work i'm doing the longer i do it without a break um even if it's just putting on the tv for 30 minutes or scrolling through tiktok for 20 minutes or something just to get you give yourself your mind a break give yourself a moment that your energy just doesn't have to be absolutely exhausted just to hang out and relax eat a snack get some lunch whatever you need to do it is definitely super super important i also recommend that you don't do this in the same space that you're working um just so you kind of know when you're in a certain place your mind is really like set up and prepared to work and they associate that certain space with productivity and then you can associate places like your basement your room with time to just kind of relax and hang out and de-stress my next tip kind of goes off of moving around for breaks but this is more in terms of working don't stay in one area for too long i know for me i do have my desk area in the back but in my room but it's just sometimes can be a little bare to look at and i get very bored and distracted just by like kind of looking around my room i'm like oh i'm bored i like have nothing to do this sucks like i don't want to be doing schoolwork right now even just changing up your space a little bit if it's nice out sit outside on your porch or something or even just going down to your kitchen or a different area of the house is definitely the way to go because it kind of just resets your mind a little bit even though you are still working it kind of gives you a new mentality and it kind of like okay let's just finish this up and then we'll be good so that is definitely another really important tip that i recommend for you guys my next tip i had to throw in just because of how i learn and how i just think it is so successful constantly in person and online school i think it's just works very well especially for me now that i'm a visual learner quizlet is your best friend quizlet can be used in so many different ways and it is an unbelievable tool especially now that everyone mostly everyone is online for the remainder of the semester it is a very easy tool that you can just put all your online type notes or written notes whatever you prefer into quizlet and it's a very easy way to quiz yourself in preparation for tests or just to memorize things so it is really easy to remember um i feel like regardless of whether you're in person or online it is just such an easy tool to use and it just honestly makes the studying process feel a lot less stressful because it isn't as time consuming and exhausting as writing note cards for hours on end it is definitely very easy to use if you haven't used quizlet i would highly recommend it it is my go-to i've used it for years i'm absolutely obsessed with it but that is definitely really important as well and definitely a study tool that you guys should check out my next tip goes off a little bit into a different topic but make time for your hobbies i know during online school i feel like a lot of adults and people that work every day like a nine to five job especially when you're at home it's a different thing to navigate you kind of feel like you should be doing schoolwork or working so much more and all the time because you're in the space that you're doing work if that makes sense um i definitely encourage you guys like i was talking about breaks a little bit earlier to designate a certain part of your day or a certain time or during your breaks whatever works best for you um to do something you guys enjoy a lot of people if you watch tiktok a lot of people have been tie-dyeing things upcycling things obviously for me my hobby is youtube so i set out time in my day to do that like i'm doing right now things like that i think are really really important um just so you can kind of get your mind off of school 
schoolwork and kind of give yourself that break because obviously you're not at school right now you don't have your extracurriculars you don't have things to do before and after school so it kind of just gives you that outlet that you might be lacking while you're stuck at home so that is another really important tip as well my next tip I was talking about a little bit in the last tip but it is definitely something that I need to state on its own because I think it's just super super important don't overwork yourself and find a balance like I was just saying a lot of people that are home and you're in your workspace you feel like you can't stop and you have to be on all the time and you're honestly bored and maybe you might resort to doing schoolwork but it really does take a toll on you like mentally and definitely even physically I feel like for me um so just setting time out of your day to just do other things work out do like your hobby like I mentioned do whatever you need to do is really really important and even just setting an alarm at the end of your day like okay just stop doing everything like take a break eat dinner spend time with your family spend time like with yourself and just decompressing self-care whatever you need to do um is really really important and I think it definitely helps for the next day you don't feel very burnt out and you're ready to get more stuff done my last tip for this video is super super important I absolutely stand by this remove all distractions from your study space time that you think you have spent studying goes to such a waste when you do not remove distractions and you might be on your phone every five or ten minutes and you think you've only been on your phone for two minutes you've actually been on your phone for an hour so I definitely encourage you guys to remove any like phones any like online shopping like if you have a tab open on your computer for online shopping while you're doing work delete that get it later like you need to remove yourself from all distractions when you're working some people do like to listen to music and I am definitely one of those people so I highly recommend kind of just having something in your background to help you so maybe you can focus a little bit better some people need complete silence and that is also okay but just don't give yourself too much of an excuse to find a distraction and pick something that is very easy to just kind of put on like turn your music on put your phone on your bed put your phone literally anywhere and just get to work so that is definitely another really important tip okay you guys that is everything for my online school tips video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below be sure to follow me on all my social media so you guys can stay updated on my life so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time